shoulder rubs are like amazing. And they're even more amazing when they're in church. You know how like when you've been sitting and your shoulders start to get tense after, you know, lots of ministering? And when you're alone, like you would rub your shoulders, but that just looks weird. I mean, demonstration right here. But when you have someone sitting next to you, they can just like lean over and give you that casual shoulder rub, just like that. It's really great. So another thing I'm looking forward to is whispering during church. Like when you want to talk to your friend and they're just your friend in church, like you don't want to lean too close, like with Gary, because it looks awkward. But when you're married, you can like whisper like right next to their face. You know what I mean? Like right next to their face. And it can be like, people around you can like hear that you're whispering, but they can't tell what you're saying. It's great, especially when they tell you a little joke and you just, <laughs> You're so silly. Like in the middle of church, right? But you're whispering. It's so great. But with a friend, you have to be like over here and then everybody can hear and that's just pointless. So sometimes, you know, I don't drink enough coffee and I get a little sleepy in church. And when I'm by myself, that is just really annoying because if I do happen to drift off, I just go like, I do the, I do the nod thing, you know, and my hair bounces and everyone knows that I was asleep, right? But when you're married, and your significant other is sitting next to you, you have like a built-in pillow. So you lean in close and like he puts his arm around you, like over here, and you can just lean on his shoulder and no one will know if you're falling asleep. They just think that you really, really like each other. You know, it's gonna be great. So you know how you're like in the middle of the worship song and it just really hits you like, oh my goodness, that is totally me. And you just wanna lean forward and stop to pray for a little while. Well. When you're doing that alone, like it gets really awkward really fast because people are like, is something wrong with her? Is she okay? Like, should we say something? Is like, is she crying? And sometimes I am, but it's not important. But when you are married, like your significant other can be there to just like lean over and rub your back. And the people around you are much more comfortable because they know that you're being taken care of and you feel better because one, you're having a spiritual moment and B, like your significant other is there and you're getting physical affection, which is like, wow. Like another great thing about being married in church is holding hands. I mean, it serves a couple of purposes though. Like sometimes certain significant others are like really into like the hand raising. And when you're really up front, that's kind of awkward. So when you're married, you they start to raise your hand and you can just, you know, bring their hand down and you hold your hands and you sway a little bit together. It's great. Another thing that's great is when you're worshiping, I mean, aside from the hand-holding thing, like, that's awesome, but sometimes they just put your, their arm around you and you, like, sway to the rhythm of the music together. It's like dancing, but it's not, you know, because you're married, so it's okay. You know, but you just, you just sway together. You just sway. Jesus is great and you're swaying. This one gets a little bit awkward, but I mean, I'm looking forward to it anyway because we'll be married, so it's okay. But like when they put their arm around each other and their hand like goes a little bit and you're not sure, it looks like they're almost touching their butt, but it's not their butt. It's more like their hip, but it gets a little bit close and sometimes they like put their finger in their pocket and then like touch their hip and that's kind of awkward, but I'm looking forward to it anyway. You know how like when you're in church and you're single, like the pastor says something about Eros? And you like don't know where to look because it's like, do I look down and think that I'm uncomfortable with the idea? Do I look at my neighbor who may or may not be Gary? That would be weird. Um, but when you're married, like you automatically know where to look. Like whenever the pastor mentions anything remotely sexual, you can just gaze adoringly into their eyes and maybe wink a little, or maybe a little peck on the cheek, you know? That's okay when you're married, but when you're single, it's just awkward. So that's why I'm looking forward to being married. This next one is a little extreme, and it might only be for like people who've been married for a while, but I'm still looking forward to it, is like when your feet start to hurt, and like you're married, and so your spouse will rub your feet. You know, you just put your feet, well not here, they'd obviously be more on their lap, obviously, but you know, you just put your feet up, and they get rubbed, and your toes feel good, and it's just great, I mean, Best part of church, I'm pretty sure. It's kind of like foot washing. You know, we're supposed to do that, or we're not supposed to do that, or it's part of something, some culture somewhere. But it's kind of like foot washing, but modern. <sighs> like, oh my goodness. After a morning of like being in like the kids service or something, 
and you haven't seen your significant other for like a whole hour and a half, it is so great to like run into the sanctuary and just hug them. I mean, I mean, sure, you look a little weird and you're a little out of breath, but that hug is just like, I live for that. Or I would live for that. I'm not married yet, but I'm really excited about it. You look like a goat, fool! <laughs>